Hi there, this is Dave again from the bikeandbeerblog.com. B-I-K-E-N-B-E-E-R-B-L-O-G.com. Please subscribe at the end of this YouTube video and follow me for more hopefully interesting and fun stories. All right, so let's open this up and take a deeper look at it. It has a outside, very um, small, nice, easy to get to compartment. Uh, this is where I would put my work badge and my keys for my desk. So strap that on there. Probably throw my phone right in here. Um, looks like a nice padded uh, case or area and secured there. Also fairly easy to get to. The next area that we can take a look at is really deep. It's the full, the full length of the pack. Um, has got a lot of space in it, as you can see, um, right there. So this compartment has one zipped mesh and quite a bit of space inside of that. And then the inside compartment, which of course is the biggest, um, and it does fold pretty flat. Um, it's got a little place for, I suppose, security cards or, uh, you know, a card, flashlights here maybe, a couple other compartments that are expandable, another zip mesh compartment here, and then it does include a removable uh, PC or computer pack that is strapped in very securely. So I did try this a little bit earlier um, and it's extremely secure, snap fit. And this is the pack for the computer if you're gonna take your computer with uh, either on a day trip or commuting, hopefully not on a day trip. Hopefully you don't have to do that. So this compartment has several different size areas along with a place for pens, um, another mesh pocket, and then a, a fairly uh, fairly big area where you could throw your power supplies or something like that if you have to bring it in. I am going to now uh, show you guys my the typical day pack that I load for my commute and putting all of this stuff in here. When we do go back to the office, this will be my backpack to take to and from work. I ride my bike uh, about 20 miles each way, so it was important for it to be secure on my back um, and not wiggle around at all. Also having a place to put my computer because I do haul my computer, my lunch, my breakfast, clothing and of course my personal gear to take a shower when I get to the club or to work. So let's take a peek at this and um, we can go from there. All right, so what I normally take on my commute is of course my computer. So let's try this uh, standard kind of nice laptop. Put that in there, that fits nice and secure in there. Uh, yeah, I'd have no issue with that. Throw my power supply in there. Um, I do try to keep my weight down as much as possible when I am commuting. Uh, so this, you know, it's a computer that, that weighs the most here. They're, the pack is pretty straightforward, pretty light. So let's secure this in. All right, so it's secured. I'm not gonna put anything in here. Now, I may, if it's gonna rain or something, I, I usually keep an umbrella in here, um, but A, it's winter, so I don't need an umbrella. And so the only thing I really need to put in here is what I'm gonna use during the day at work and what am I going to um, eat and things like that. So first off, I am going to put, I bring some, Sandals uh, because I keep my shoes at work and so I need to get from the locker room up to my desk So I put those in at the very bottom. I Also, of course have my personal gear which includes, you know, your brush soap 
uh, deodorant, that kind of stuff. Put that in there. I do have a uh, fast drying towel that I actually leave attached to my bike that's hanging in the bike area, which is thankfully for our my employer, it's a secure area. So uh, we feel, uh, or the, the bikes are always safe. Hang this on the outside of my bike after I take my shower. And then of course, I do usually wear a belt at work. So I'm gonna put that down towards the bottom. Um, push these in a little bit further and then I have my clothes so you know underwear shirt and pants let's see how this fits and like I said before it's about a 20 mile bike ride uh, so it takes me you know a little bit less than an hour to get there all right so that's pretty darn secure but I have not put in my lunches yet and my breakfast. So I think I'm gonna put those in here. And I usually, obviously there's no food in here, but I usually have a couple of these types of containers and these will easily fit in here. So let's zip it up. All right, so uh, that is pretty much everything I need. Now this stuff is rain resistant. So if it does start to rain on my commute, either to or from, don't really care on the way home as much as I care on the way down so that my clothes don't get wet. Um, also, if, if it does sound like it's going to be a torrential rain, rain or the high probability of rain, I will throw a plastic bag in here to put around my clothes just to be on the safe side. Don't really wanna wear wet clothes all day long. Um, sadly, I've learned that lesson. All right, so here it is, fully loaded. Let's throw it on. And of course, normally I'd have my cycling stuff on and a jersey, maybe a, a light jacket or a winter jacket. Um, so I do, wouldn't, I wouldn't have this hood. All right, put this around. Make the appropriate adjustment. So it's got two adjusters on the bottom, this one up on top, and then of course these. And I will tell you, this is very secure. This thing is not gonna go anywhere, um, which is of course extremely important when you're riding or hiking for that matter. So it does have some po a little pocket here. This might be actually where I'd keep my badge and my keys, uh, just given the easier access. And then over here, it has a similar, so it's got two really nice, easily accessible uh, uh, pockets that are zipped. And then it does have a place to put your water bottle. And when I commute, I, I wouldn't put my water bottle there, it would be on my bike. But when I am day hiking, I would absolutely put my water bottle there. Um, they do have areas that you can clamp on things using, you know, little clamp-ons and stuff. So this pack for what I would use it for on a daily basis, which is bike commuting, seems to be a really, really good sturdy pack. Unfortunately, I can't give you a live example of bike commuting right now because of the, uh, the epidemic and COVID and all that stuff. So um, I will be using this for day hiking and I'm gonna actually show you some stuff that I use on my day hiking. Not gonna be putting the computer in here which will lighten my load significantly. All right, let's take a look at the Gregory Pack for actually going on day hikes, which is one of the other recommended uses. Um, I can also see taking this as my carry-on on trips, but we're not doing trips right now. All right, so I have removed the, ta uh, the, the computer bag from here. So I've got a ton of extra space here. Um, and let's now configure this thing to what I would normally take on a day hike. So you know, get up, eat some breakfast, and then hit the trail, be back before dark, um, make sure that you've got your necessary things, but not too much.
All right, so let's take a look at what we can fit in here for a nice day hike. Uh, this is my first aid kit. We're going to obviously need that. Um, and it should be somewhere that is readily accessible. So in case there is an emergency, I guess right now I'll throw it in up here. Uh, again, this is where I'll actually keep my cell phone right in here also because I'm not gonna keep that in a pocket. Uh, I don't need my cell phone when I'm on a day hike. So the things I carry with me outside of the first aid kit, obviously water bottles. Um, we will be, on this example, we will be going out and cooking lunch. So I need my pots and pans and my um, something to eat on, my, my bowl and my plate. Here is my stove. Uh, this is a BioLite stove. Um, I do bring a, a lamp with, and this is just an LED lamp. You could set it on the table. I also use this when I go overnight camping and I hook it to the top of my tent. Um, it's very, very useful. Going to carry a flashlight uh, because you just, you never know. So flashlight, knife, Compass, old fashioned, no technology needed, works like a champ every time. Um, and then a couple carabiners or a few carabiners. I've got, uh, I think I've got three here. Um, I do like to pack my tripod for my camera. So you can do some kind of fun um, photo photography out there when you're hiking and stuff. You've got some great shots. So I do bring that. And then, of course, paracord. Again, this is more of an emergency situation use, but you should always have paracord. Now, the one thing that I did notice on this pack is that on the back, which, of course, faces backwards, and, and there's not a lot of places to hook things on. Um, and one of the things that I was thinking would be nice to hook on, but you can't, or at least not that I see an easy way to do it, is a solar panel. Now I know it's a day hike, but sometimes batteries on emergency devices or your cell phone, uh, they just don't last all day long. So if you're hiking and you're facing, your back is facing the sun anyhow, I like to charge up a set of batteries or a device. Um, I do have a bivy stick which is a satellite-based uh, emergency responder that I can use in case of an emergency or if I want to text through the satellite system uh, my location to people. Again, I know it's only a day hike, but they do come in useful. So I, there's not really a good way to do that on this particular pack, which is, which is fine. All right, so let's start putting stuff in here. Again, this, uh, this pack has got a, a good amount of space. This is the heaviest thing other than the water that I would take on a day hike. So guess what? It goes at the bottom. Uh, my pans are pretty light, put those in. And of course, uh, my, uh, my mess kit. All right, so I'll get that in there. Flashlight. Probably not put the flashlight in this side. I'll probably put it in the other. I am gonna put my flashlight in the outside with my um, my first aid kit. I'll zip that up for now. This light I am gonna put in the big pack side and my rope. All right, so we're gonna seal this up. And we can see, okay, that feels pretty good. Um, we've got the inside now. So we've got a, a bunch of additional space. This is where I'm gonna put my compass in the, in the zip in here. Again, it's not electronic, doesn't need a whole lot of care, but I do like to keep it secure. And I'm gonna put a knife in there. Um, so got my cooking, I've got my pots and pans, I need to, and I mean using these, if you saw these earlier in the video, uh, these will be my, where I would put my food, my food storage, 
Again, it's a day trip, so don't need a ton of food with me. I'll throw my, um, my tripod in there. And I think that's about it for the inside. So again, first aid kit, um, my rope is in here, my cell phone would be in here. So that all works well. Again, this is waterproof. Um, keep the elements out in case it starts raining. Now, depending on the weather, I would potentially pack a raincoat um, in here if there's any possibility of rain. And there's plenty of room in here to pack that. So, like I show, uh, showed and talked about earlier, here is one of the water bottle areas. And then the other water bottle, I would probably keep using uh, a clip on the front of the backpack. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, so let's put this bad boy on again. Although today, if I was going uh, day packing, I would be wearing, depending on the weather, uh, maybe a hoodie. So this is a good example. All right, so let's secure this back on. Back a little bit tangled. All right. Make sure it's secure. And now um, with the water right here on one and everything, I've got the weight at the back of the pack. On the bottom, uh, I would hook my bivy stick on the back with something like this because it is a satellite-based emergency responder device. So I would do that now. The other thing that I like to do is I like to keep my water up front um, for easy access. So this seems like it would work. I'm gonna take this off, I don't need that. And to allow for easy access to water while we're out hiking for the day. All right, so this is my day pack. It's the Gregory uh, 34L Juxt. So it's 34 liters big. Um, it's part of their Juxt line. They have several different sizes and styles in the Juxt line. This is a 34 liter. I chose a 34 liter because it was their one of their larger ones and it, I figured it'll hold everything I need for a good day pack my bike commuting, or if I use this as my carry-on. So there it is, the Gregory Pack Juxt 34L.